What are some of the biggest challenges your district is facing or that you see K-12 facing that yeah. you're seeing? Or what's keeping well, you up at night, I guess, is the question, main question. Yeah, I mean, I I think you have to start what with- What are you recruitment. excited to overcome? <laughs> there you go. Uh, recruitment and retention, I think, is always going to be a top topic for any of us right now. It was before, truthfully, I mean- Pandemic, the only thing that it did was accentuate a lot of the problems that we already had. And you could look at that in a lot of different ways in this country or um, specifically in, into K-12. But recruitment and retention is going to continue to be a challenge. Um, we're we're really focused on that in our district. And I think we've done a better job here. Um, and I'm really excited about that. So the last three years, we've gone through listening tours and things where we're actually measuring engagement with our staff and working on different challenges and problems and designing solutions based upon what we hear and feedback. But um, it's going to continue to be a problem. I mean, uh, everybody's looking for staff. And so they're always trying to hire and, and um, trying to find uh, a fit. But it's not just teachers, but it's going to be child nutrition workers and bus drivers and custodians and um, our support staff that we can't do anything in our world without. So uh, trying to recruit and retain, I think, is is certainly going to be one of them. Um, you know, I probably would have said this anyways, regardless of what happened yesterday, but, you know, safety and security is going to be a continual challenge. I mean, we've got to make sure that we maintain focus on what that really looks like. And in my mind, yes, it is in our schools and making sure that we're doing the things that we need to do and we're constantly evolving um, based upon the feedback and what we see and best practice and all those things. But I continue to contend that it's also working with our community. We work with our city, um, but I tell parents all the time, it's like, look, I, I get it. You don't want weapons in our schools and I don't either. Right. But your students are getting them from somewhere else other than here. Right. Um, they're not getting them at school. They're getting them out in the community. So I need your help. I need you working with us so that we can partner together. I need you looking at your kids' social media accounts. And I need you looking at the social media accounts that they don't tell you that they have. And I need you just paying attention to those things so that we can work together. Um, but safety and security in our schools, I think, is going to be a continual challenge no matter what um, moving forward. Um, and then I'd say redefining student success. Um, we can't continue to just rely on and report on state assessments. I mean, our state assessment in, in Missouri doesn't even measure literacy. And so we report on how much our students are, you know, um, at any, an individual level, at grade level, in, in this English assessment and how they're performing, whether they're, you know, above or below or whatever. But that's not measuring their literacy rate. That test is not set to measure literacy. So we're doing that. And that's why I can tell you, you know, how many of our students are reading on grade level. But um, we've got to redefine student success. And we've got to look at a competency-based, something else that's a skills-based measurement. Um, because, again, when we have... Uh, to, you can think about your own situation, but even when I talk to employers and I'm like, you know, what are you looking for? They don't talk about, well, I'm looking for somebody that can perform really well on a state assessment and can do this. They're naming all these things and all these skills that none of our assessments measure in any way, shape or form. Um, and so I think that's going to be a continual conversation because most of us were raised in a very traditional seat based um, kind of uh, school district, and that's all we know. And so it scares us to think. We can say that we want something else, but then it scares us to think, well, then how do we measure that? And how do we make sure that we're comparing everybody? Why are you trying to compare everybody? It doesn't, that doesn't matter. Um, but I, I think that's going to be a continual conversation over the next several years, and hopefully um, some changes can be made.